What's good boys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a banging episode on the inform left wing but converted to striker Mane. This guy has, scored, has had an unbelievable season. He had an unbelievable past few seasons. He actually came top 10 in the Ballon d'Or nominations this year. And it's just going to be a lit episode. Now you saw in the last episode, I said to comment your favourite icon this year on FIFA 20. And these are the people that I commented. You can see them coming up here on the side. But if you want to be featured in uh, the next video, the question I'm going to ask you guys today is... Who is your favourite player that isn't an icon? So it could be Ronaldo, Messi, Mane, Salah, anyone just that isn't an icon. Let me know down below for a chance to be featured in the next video. You know what you have to do as well. You have to subscribe, like the video and comment down below what I just said. You'd love to see it. Now, as you can see, Info Mane on his face card looks outstanding, man. 95 pace, 89 dribbling, 85 shooting and 75 physical. He's even got decent passing on this card to be fair. And it, it, you just know this card is going to suit the meta purely because he's got that 95 pace, the 89 dribbling. And when you look at some of his stats in game here, he just looks impeccable. I mean, I put, um, a, is that Deadeye? No, I put Marksman on him and he goes up to 97 attacker positioning, 99 finishing, 91 shot power, maths, 88 long shots, 7, 86 volleys and 77 penalties now this card looks absolutely phenomenal when you look at his card that you just think he's going to be one of the best strikers in the game i mean you could put this guy at wing on the camp position at striker many different positions i actually tried them in a few myself but now when you look at his passing stats 83 short pass is good enough you can always up his passing if you want to i, I recommend maybe putting a dead eye on him or or something of a sort just so it ups his shooting and passing his agility is fantastic at 93 but goes up to 98 with the marksman balance at 86 which is great as well 91 reactions going up with all these stats i mean he just turns into an absolute beast heading's even good as well with 82 heading accuracy 87 jumping which gets up to 97 jumping with the marksman his strength goes up by five putting him up at 72 strength 81 aggression and he has 86 stamina so you just know he can run the whole game which is going to cause problems for the other team because he's going to have his pace for the whole game basically he isn't going to be slowing down at any point and i just noticed that in the game 100 as soon as i started playing with him you can see in the game that he's got pace that you just can't catch i've used the bamyang this year he felt faster than the bamyang he just felt like as soon as he got the ball to his feet he was gone like you could instantly just take the right analog stick and send him and you're going to see it a lot of times in the clip where he just pulls away from the defense without even trying now the only problem the only thing is with this card is the price of it is extremely high purely because he's at striker. Now, when you look at Liverpool's team on FIFA, there isn't many strikers that you can use. Maybe the Scream Firmino, that's actually usable, but I use him more as a centre mid or a cam in my teams. And they kind of need a striker. So you can either play Salah or Mane at striker, but with this Mane card, he's going to be very, very, very highly sought after by Liverpool fans or fans of the Premier League and things like that. Now, this guy, absolute tank in real life, absolute beast in the game. And we're going to look at the team that I have built around him. Then we're going to get into some commentary. And we're going to say at the end, whether or not, because this is that series, he is worth it or not. Looking at his card, he's an incredible 5'9", 4-star, 4-star, high medium work rate, which is brilliant. Not the tallest, but that doesn't really matter in this game. As you can score, I see that I scored 10 goals in 4 games with him and got 2 assists. 4-star, four 4-star, four which is perfect. Like I said, if you've got good enough shooting, 4-star feels like 5-star. And 4-star skills more than good enough for this year. Now... The team around him, something very sweaty. Very, very sweaty. As you can see up front, I have tried out this 95 paced over Mars. Not the best player in the game, don't get me wrong, because his shooting and his passing let him down. But if his prime, I can't remember what his prime stats are or his prime stats if you haven't got one. But I saw the five star weak foot and I saw the 95 pace and I thought, why not? As you can see there, one going four games, but he did, did definitely help me uh, counter attack because he was just off. Like whenever he had the chance. And you can see there I've got the Liverpool connection with Firmino in the cam position. Salah on the right wing. I actually really like the Salah card this year. I was not really a fan of him last year. But this year I'm definitely a fan of him. This Firmino card I love man. And look at that. He got five assists there in four games for me from cam. He wasn't just a good cam. He, what I liked about this midfield was they're all very good overall players. Like I packed this Blanc which you're going to see. Or you would have seen already in the pack opening that went live yesterday. I packed this Blanc from one of my uh, icon swaps. I only, I've only done two. One was John Barnes and the other one was Blanc. So I'm kind of happy with that Blanc card. One of my favourite centre mids this year, hands down. And Firmino, very underrated. I feel like as a centre mid, similar to Blanc, they possess very similar stats. They're very good defensively, but at the same time, they can attack at the same time. And it's just a shutdown. The Bataglio, you know, I love. That's why I kept him in there with Akuna. I put in Otamendi at left centre back with that pace. As you can see, I've got Van Dijk on the right side, who's untradeable. Pereira on the right back position and Allison in goal. So there's quite a few Liverpool players in there because obviously it's the Mane team. I went to put in a few of their best players. Obviously, I'm missing Trent and I'm missing Robertson, but I went to fit in Bataglia. And Trent doesn't feel as fast, like fast enough for this game. Maybe if he gets a few more informs or like a team of the year or team of the season, which I probably he will probably get one of those. 
he will go in at right back for me, definitely. But yeah, it's all about this Manny card. This Manny card was fantastic. We're going to get into some gameplay. We're going to see how he plays as a player. A few things I noticed for his card straight away was, like I said, his incredible speed. He felt so quick. Like, I've used fast players this year, including, like, Mbappe, Aubameyang, some icons with great pace. Like, that Overmars card. But this Mane felt a lot faster than Overmars, even though they've got the same pace. Don't know what it is that contributes towards that. I'm actually going to have a look at what he is. They've got similar agility and similar balance, so I don't really know what contributes towards that. If you know, let me know down below. But what we're going to do is we're going to get into the gameplay now. Let me just compare his price. I probably lost coins on him, but even though he has come out of packs, but he'll probably start rising again slowly, slowly if I hold on to him. But... If you think you've enjoyed it so far, make sure you subscribe, you like the video, and remember to comment down below your favourite player that isn't an icon this year. So it could be this Mane card, it could be Salah, it could be Firmino, it could be any of them. Let me know down below. What we're going to do is we're going to get into the gameplay now. I'll give you some commentary over what I thought of him in the game, some of the goals he scored and some of the link-up play he put together. Then at the end of it, we're going to come back and we're going to say whether or not he is worth the 800 or so K that he's currently going for. Let's go. Boom. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as we head into the gameplay here, you can see Mane has the ball, gives it into the midfielder. Rafinha Mourinho is holding up the ball, and you can see him making that run, and you know he's got the pace to burst past Van Dijk, and look at that for a finish. Welcome to my house, Mane. You are the beast. He literally left Van Dijk in the dust, and his pace was absolutely incredible, and I just noticed that straight off the bat. Look at his pace here, and how about this for composure from the man himself to chip it over the keeper into the corner. He was absolutely incredible, and that forced a rage whip from this geezer, because he, know, he knew he could not deal with Mane. I left his Van Dijk in the dust twice, chipped the keeper once and he just could not hack it. As you can see here, Bataglia holding up the ball, gives it into Firmino, Firmino gives it into Mane, Mane opens his body up and finesses that right into the top corner and he was just unplayable man. At times this guy felt like an icon in a sense, he had the speed, the finishing, he's got strength because they could not body him off the ball when they got near him, he just felt outstanding and to partner that up with all the stamina that he has, he's running the whole game so the defence is going to be having problems for 90 minutes. As you can see here, I pull away, this is a bit of a skill goal this as I bring it back with a drag back i'm running in i ball roll twice pulling the defender out wide drag back leave him on the floor and put that in the corner look at the look at the guy he's flipping left him on the floor he's, like, he's acting like this is fifa street you know when you do a skill with fifa street and the computer just automatically falls on the floor no matter what you do that is what happened there but yeah, i just left the guy in the dust look at this see you later my son and how about that for a finish right into the corner of a little finesse how are you guys finding the game after the patch is it any good but look at this you can see mané picking the ball up on the halfway line from kickoff running at the defense with his speed Pulling it back here against the defender, coming back again. Watch this. Oh, see you later, my son. And now look, look at the dribbling. How about that for a finish? He moved his keeper slightly to the left. I saw that, so I low driven it into the near post. And you'll see on the replay here, he moved his keeper so slightly, but it was slight enough for me to get the ball into the near post. And this Mane card is absolutely fantastic. One of the best strikers I've used this year, especially considering he's not an icon. He just played outstandingly. And he moved his keeper again, so you know I'm smashing that near post. Do not move your keeper against me, because I will punish you. I know that you're going to move him trust me i got the senses here we go moving to the last clip here you can see guardiola body in my barnes barnes gets the ball gives it to mané mané with the assist on mohammed salah and liverpool fans would love to see that one because they know they love mané and salah's link up play don't they look at that you love to see it let's get back into the real time zach See you there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, now for the important part. Now you've seen the gameplay, you've seen me talk a bit about the team and how it played in the game and how he just was overall as a player. Now it's time to say whether or not he is worth the coins that he's going for. That 800 and so K, is he worth that? That's the whole point of this series. Is he worth it? I'm going to say today, I'm going to go out there on the new and I'm going to say he is worth it. He's better than icons that I've used up front. Cheap icons like Cliver, Crespo, players like that. He's way above, levels above them. One of the best strikers I've used this year. Definitely up there with the likes of Ronaldo and Mbappe for me. He felt like an end game kind of player, even though we're nowhere near the end of the game. He just felt absolutely phenomenal. The way he had the pace to get in behind, his shooting was excellent when he had to get into that position to shoot. And I'm talking finesse shots. Power shots, low drivens, he provided all of them. His link-up plays brilliant. His passing is good enough to, to play balls in behind or play 1-2 so he can make the runs. And he just had the strength. Even though he's got that 95 pace, once he gets in behind the defence, even if anyone is coming behind him and pushing him and shoving him, he does get in behind no matter what anyway. And I just felt like there is not many players at this point in the game that can provide the kind of pace and strength and shooting that this card possesses basically and I just enjoyed him thoroughly and there's not many strikers out there that I believe are on his level like I've said so he's going to be probably for strikers in in general around this like whole year I'm going to put him in my top five that's 100% 
top five for me. Like, I've had a lot of fun using him. I probably will use him eventually again uh, if he ever drops or if he gets another inform. That'd be incredible. When he gets the team of the year, this card's going to be absolutely insane. He's definitely going to get a team of the year, in my opinion, purely because he's coming in the top. I think it was top seven or top six. I can't remember exactly, but he definitely came in the higher end of the uh, Ballon d'Or nominations. Actually, quite close to Ronaldo and Messi's and the likes of them guys. I think it's just insane. The card's brilliant. Go out there and pick it up if you if you if you need someone to to bring that pace to your team. Even if you do, if you are looking for an icon, I recommend this guy. He's better than most of the icons out there. He, with that four star four star as well, his shooting's brilliant on both feet. And if he gets another inform or if his card goes, if he gets any upgrades to this card. Card, he's going to become an absolute end game striker now that's all i have to say remember to comment down below your favorite player this year it doesn't have to be an icon it can be absolutely anyone in the game i don't want it to be an icon anything but an icon now make sure you like it and you subscribe if you're new around here with grind to hit 5k before christmas it's been your boy zach i am out of here